Hey, what's going on everyone out there? This is your boy Sleepy and I'm welcoming y'all all back to another episode of the Project Webtoons podcast. Number, damn, I don't even know what number we're on now. What, 11? <laughs> or is this 10? You think I keep track? I mean, out of all of us who is probably good at numbers, it's you. I mean, I did have you check all of our chapter numbers to make sure we were caught up. That's because the last time you were like off and you didn't know where the heck you were anymore. I was off by one. You make it sound like I was just super off. Like I, <laughs> did you what? <laughs> it's fine. Just go. Oh, well, that's all right. Uh, as you can tell, we're down one member this week, but it's all right. We'll keep you all locked here with a, a two for, a two for, for this time. Uh, as I said, of course, I'll start us off. I am your boy, the sleepies and my co-host here. This is Arc Dragoon. Hey. Um, uh, how's your, how you doing out there? I don't know why you keep asking me this. Because, we all know that's rhetorical. I mean, yeah, but I always like to check. There's a thing about insanity, you know, just making sure. I want to make sure that the statement actually becomes, you know, true. Because at that one point that it, you know, something weird happened and you say you're okay or good, I know that I've, uh, passed into another world. <laughs> if I was dead. If. You if, wouldn't know that. We've had this talk before. No, that's not true. We've had this discussion. If you were, it's possible you'd still tell me. But that means we'd all be trapped oh, no, in the no, same see, hell. See, see, see. If I were dead, I wouldn't know it. And you'd still treat me like as if I was still alive. Because this is my hell, not yours. Oh, oh, you think I'd be a part of your nightmare? Come on. Come on, no, please. You, you wouldn't be a part. You're just a detail. Mm, that's even worse. That makes me an NPC, dude. Come on. Yes. No, screw you. <laughs> I don't want to be the NC, but I don't want to be an NPC either. You're, but you're an essential NPC. No, no, you go to hell with that. That is bullshit. <laughs> oh man, what does that, what would that make Peter? Uh, uh, I don't. You're even like, to, mm. you're like a uh, Preston Garvey from Fallout Four. Oh, uh, really? Uh, yes. On that note, just making me feel all sorts of great. Uh. We can go ahead and let's actually move into our first topic for today since we've got uh we got a few things to go over everyone got an update this time even legendary for once but we'll go ahead and we'll start off here on descent of the demonic master a little bit of feels on this one coming through uh yeah so not not a not a super uh uplifting chapter which i kind of thought we were gonna get but it, we were going to get good news, but instead we got bad news. Yeah. I mean, we've all read enough mangas and manwa and a bunch of things like that, that usually after the MC does something miraculous, there's usually positive news and everything goes forward happy. But yeah, um, the last chapter, the, the sister was sick and uh, our homeboy went through and was trying to use some of his abilities to more or less remove the negative energy inside of her. And it looked like things were going well because the doctor was like, oh, she made this weird miraculous recovery and she's now able to go into the surgery that could potentially save her. But we get a phone call and it's- uh, We rebounded. Yeah, it's we get a phone call from our homeboy who's over at the orphanage taking uh, care of the kids. And it seems that it did not quite work the way we thought it would. Uh, yeah, so kind of a, a, a bit of a self-love chapter a little bit. Um, our MC definitely felt, uh, the shock of it a little, uh, uh, that, you know, after all of that he's done, then he's kind of like put all this strength in and it, it did not turn around to a more positive outcome for them. Um, but a learning experience and also, you know, one that we don't get and a lot of uh, a lot of comics out there you know usually we're always given that positive perception to go forward you know to always think in that happy manner but sometimes it the results life don't doesn't work out want. yeah life doesn't give you the results you want no matter how much effort you put into it it's not <laughs> unfortunately that's not how that world works so um yeah this was a th this was more of a, a close knit chapter 2 it was only pretty much um like what three characters out of all of it it was just our mc uh no we all his assistants and the uh and the and, uh what's his name the uh the professional gamer guy i can i can't believe i can't remember his name yes yeah it was really just only them through the whole chapter and then it was you know internal monologue for the mc 
he didn't see anybody else that I can think of. He didn't, uh, um, I mean, he didn't even like, I thought that they were going to like end up at some point in the chapter, like actually seeing the sister or like going to the hospital and, and visiting her, but they didn't even do that. So I don't know if that's going to come in the next one or it'll just be, you know, the funeral scene most likely. You think we're going to get a like him trying to, to defy the heavens thing or is it going to be <laughs> a uh, like a reluctant acceptance that life doesn't work out the way he wants it to all the time? I mean, it's not like he's shown that even in even previously that he's like made these grand gestures that he's like been able to stop death in any form or even you know keep other members around him from dying it, it doesn't seem like he's ever like had that kind of ability so i don't know if i don't know if they're gonna go down that route and it seems that they've been setting this up to have that like real real realistic uh you know uh character development for him him growing and accepting certain things and aspects of, you know, what I should do, what I can do, and what I have to just accept as, you know, the realities of things. So I don't think that they're going to go this far. Otherwise, that would be like the biggest just turn for this entire series. Like it would, it, it really wouldn't make sense just story-wise and character-wise for them to like just have this odd, out of nowhere, like MacGuffin, you know? Yeah. Do you, I mean, do you, is, hmm? I mean, I could, I, uh, really, do you really think that they would just throw that in there? Like I suddenly got this item or ability. No, I wouldn't say that he would like do you have an item or an ability. Cause what we, he has like what? 30 days off. Right. Yeah. Is it 30 days? Yeah. He has uh, yeah. Just about off, a month. Yeah. Like, pretty yeah. much a month. So, so I can imagine him taking that one month. Cause like, it, that's what the setup is, right? That one month to in order to try to save her i don't know if if it's like she has a month left or anything yeah but what, what i'm saying is like it it it, it may be it, that it's it, it's just check off's gun right there's no point in having him and for giving him a month off and not also at the same time be like oh hey this is happening right now too well i figured the month off was just a way to like end the entire military arc right there because essentially what they even brought up is like they made the comment that you know him getting all of those extra accolades and then him also having um the remain uh, some remaining time off added on to that it would give him just about a month you know and that's he bullshit would... that's not how the military works right? i know just i know get, this like... you already brought this up <laughs> oh, you, you, you hey. said like there's no way that this they would give them this much time off but that was the one comment that his uh commanding officer gave like holy I crap time off. they were like hey look you've done all this good stuff you you've basically like cut your military time so much that you don't get to spend it in the military. And I I'm mean, like, he's already shown that he's... Works. No, it's that not. Is not how any of this works at all. <laughs> but Especially I mean, he's already proven that he's, that so he's amazing. He's so amazing that the military would never, ever let him go. Like, they're like, <laughs> wait, why would we ever let this go? Okay, like, okay, okay. You do have to remember, he is also the pretend grand friend grandson of one of the, like, most powerful men <laughs> in all of, like korea and then yeah, on he, top he, of that he asked him not to interfere though He's he like, asked him not to that. interfere but it doesn't mean that he won't like turn around and be like hey i need you to do this because i need to take time to go and try and uh do this thing it's not hard to say that not to mention we still have that bubbling uh that bubbling conflict of him and the remaining like martial arts world out there that's either been watching him this entire time and hasn't done anything um, and the Red King is looking for him, so... Yeah, we'll see where that goes. I know we will, but still, you know, he's got... There's other problems that are, you know, still arising out there that he hasn't come into contact with. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It's... I I, I, I don't want to say I want, I want the... I'm not saying I want part. it to, yeah. like, happen that way. However, I, it feels like we need something to push it along the line towards also him like increasing his cultivation as an actual like oh hey you need to progress along besides just like oh you know i'm living my everyday life now so it it can go either way honestly I'm i mean fine. I, i'm fine i'm fine not getting him like deep into like i need i need him to do the next level of cultivation to get his new powers or anything like that because i'm enjoying him having some of the cultivation powers and then him kind of like 
figuring Actually out this world and then world using them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm enjoying that bit. I will eventually want him to like, all right, I need to sit down and start doing the chi gathering or I need to start finding opponents in order to build myself up. But, you know, right now I'm happy at the state we're at. So if if this pushes just a little bit further and we either get some new, you know, big mental development for him that, you know, there are just some things I can't fix or I will use this as a way to break you know, some barrier and going forward, no one will die because I will not will it. <laughs> I, I really don't want the uh, the Anakin Skywalker thing here <laughs> where I, I'm just chasing this ability that allows me to stop death because, you know, that, that never works. <laughs> um, but either way, uh, it's yeah. True. It does work though. But it doesn't. <laughs> yes, no, 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 no. But the whole point about Star Wars was it does work. <laughs> But it doesn't. It's just like, yes, yes, it does. It just doesn't mean that someone's going to give it to you, though. Two different things. Well, it's not even the fact that someone's going to give it to you, but just the, the, the idea that, A, the amount of things you have to do to get it isn't going to be worth it at the end of the day because it's like, oh, yeah, you just became this horrifying We literally person. have force ghosts who, oh, God. who interact oh, with the God. world. Oh, God. Never mind. <laughs> We're not going down that dumb, dumb path. Oh, I hate that so much. <laughs> oh, but... Yeah, so Yoda shows up and he's like, "No, hey guys, guys, I know, I know, lightning is Sith powers, but hey, look, lightning." <laughs> all right, so since you're trying to skew that way, I'm gonna move us all the way back here over into a far eastern side of things. Um, let's actually move over to another story, so a little bit less on the heartstrings and a little bit more on the adventure side. Uh, how about we go to "My Wife Is a Demon Queen"? We actually got quite a few chapters on this one, four in total. We did. We got basically the premise is, you know, the whole dwarf and demon wars going on. And the main character is like, hey, we're going to sneak out and bounce and go try to help out the dwarves. And then I guess his pseudo big brother, what's his name? Is uh, so, uh, so the, the, Yeah, he's like, hey, you're not allowed to leave because the king said so. And then later it's like, nah, don't worry. The king told me to send out a secret <laughs> team to do this anyway. And I was like, <laughs> This is such a roundabout way to do this, but okay, sure. But isn't that the way that all, how, how all things in life work? You could do this no, directly, I, but no, you no, would no, do no. it in such a roundabout no, no. way. What what bothered me about it was the fact that for some odd reason, the child king before who definitely didn't know how to be a king was like, hey, hey, I suddenly have insight here. <laughs> A secret team, and I'm like, wait, when did you become smart? <laughs> when did you grow up a little bit? Yeah, like, wait, what character growth did I miss behind the scenes? You don't, like, you don't remember? There were like background scenes of him just like reading these old books, and if you look really close, it just said like, uh, it, it said, uh, hey, hey, it said like you know, Batman, when, when you, Big when you Brother. Have, <laughs> it said Batman, Brother a, I. Yeah, when, when you have an a, a evil character behind the scenes like Jafar, you have to trick him by being an idiot. And I was like, wait, when did he be? It was like, yeah, let me just agree with the the the, the, the counselor here and and then brush off this one guy and then send his secret team afterwards. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> All right, hey, hey, you're not supposed to be that intelligent. At least not until you show me that you've been, you've well, like gained that intelligence through some kind yeah, of like, learning. This is undeserving. <laughs> when, when was this? But... I mean, and... it's it's hard to say uh, all the way. I, I, I mean, we, we know we have. Uh, I mean, because even if we didn't get this, we know that the main character was going to sneak out regardless. They were going to do some way of them getting out to try and help the dwarves. But yeah, and it, yeah would've made, it, it would've was. Made, it would have made more sense. It would have made more sense like, for them. Hey, let me just send you out regardless of what the king said. No, but no, he was like, no, nah, I. It, it, if the king didn't tell me to send you out, I wouldn't have let you go. Anyway, that's like Saphira's stance is still like that. Like that's literally what it is. Yes, which is really weird. Well, we, I mean, which has already been odd because. We haven't seen anything like from Sephiroth to show that he's got kind of a um, a motive to be deceptive or at least be uh, uh, not. I'm, I'm trying to think of the other word for it. For it, but uh, you know, to to go behind the king in some manner or anybody of in power just to get something out of it. But still, um, you know, he we know that he doesn't trust. Uh, he doesn't trust the general at all. 
No, he doesn't. He, he very much doesn't. Right? He doesn't trust a counselor. Um, he is loyal to the king, but I mean, the king is still a child. <laughs> so, um, he he was gonna try to find some way to get around it. It seems, regardless, and this just gave him to exactly what the whole plan wanted to be in the first place. But yeah, I I do definitely feel like that was just really odd of a of a method to go through. Uh, I don't know if it was just like the king's overall plan to like, no, I'm going to agree with the counselor because he is right that we just got out of a war. We are tired, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, we are in a non-agreement, you know, we're in a non, uh, 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 a pact with the tribe not to actually attack them in any way, shape or form. So that in turn also, you know, plays into that. But he's like, no, but I'm secretly going to send this group anyway, because, you know, these are our friends and we need to help them. Um, so we got the whole team together now and it's pretty much the same team as before with a, now a few more add-ons because not features. only, yeah, not only did he gather up, uh, his own comrades, he also gathered some of the teachers on board as well. So we've got Martin with them. We've got what the two top students from the cooking class, the magics class, and also I cannot remember what the, uh. I think it's just a healing class because I don't know. I don't remember what class the uh, the general and also and his... the general's daughter. Yeah. Well, no, not just yeah. the general's daughter, but like the cat. <laughs> the cat is called oh, the yeah. general yeah. too. Um, but no, yeah, I know that the general's daughter is is secretly telling them because she's already said that she's been watching them for a while. Um, you mean secretly telling them, and then someone looks up and is like, "Wait, why is she there? Wait, like, why?" I was like, "Wait." <laughs> Huh. What you are bad at your job? You have one job. And that is just high. I mean, no one said she was good at it. <laughs> Not at all. Um, yeah. Uh, also, and then, and then they, they did the joke where we were like, "Guys, guys, look! These are all the ships we have." And I was like, "Do we really need this? Do I really need to see that? Oh, that the 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 the, the, the drawing teacher Martin is." somehow a dense ass motherfucker he doesn't realize that the lowly magic teacher likes him but then not just her, her either right because what's the the sword teacher also makes a comment about it right like they're, they're, there's, there's some sort of like weird rivalry between them for martin and i was like wait what wait, wait we're rivalry between, between martin i thought it was the fact that she's making fun of her that martin doesn't realize that that uh that she has feelings for him and then the lowly in turn makes fun of her because Sophia doesn't <laughs> doesn't see anything in her either it's 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 i i didn't think it was necessary for us to see all of these at once and then throw we it didn't, we, we didn't need the to joke we didn't have the joke where like oh no glasses doesn't have anyone either and i was like yep all right this better okay so it, this is one thing it, it you just better keep him single he, he has to be the, first <laughs> the entire time he forever he, can't he, just, get laid. he can't he just has to be he, the first you set this up he has to be like this, now. He, this is so he, he he is a permanent wizard regardless yes. oh that's so cruel he, in me he's, he's shino from naruto who never really? gets laid yes. wow we're just oh okay <laughs> i i guess i mean it's not like he's trying or doing anything that's making him like yeah but none of the other guys are either though they just so happy to be like oh no he, they're all just like nah you're my friend <laughs> everyone else has got someone chasing after them but he's the one he's the odd man out yes uh well we'll see it's all right it's okay either way i i know the joke was a little oddly placed but at the same time it didn't ruin anything in the story beat so i'm at least happy with that so with the mission going forward and them heading over to the dwarven kingdom i'm i'm and since this is all secret the doors don't know that they're on their way but i'm sure the moment one no, of them it's, sees it's martin a secret but you know the main character decides to create like a giant a giant helicopter, air, a giant helicopter. That we know makes noise like <laughs> and won't freak I was like anybody at that, out. like wait how is this a secret mission i was asking that too i was like wait a minute this is supposed to be a secret they're doing it in the dead of night and he chose probably the loudest thing in this world to to leave on like how did none of the guards hear or see that <laughs> in any I, way I, 
No, I, I was so confused. Like, I looked at it, I was like, did no one look at the thing? And as the fucking propeller spun, like, actually create an updraft, and everyone was like, oh no, I can't, like, like, I was like, what, what is going on here? Is there, is this somehow helicopter, like, super magical that it I mean, creates no updraft? it creates no updraft, no noise. It's, uh, it's, it's a magic <laughs> device. Come on. <laughs> You won't be having a helicopter if you can fly without this propeller system. I don't I have no idea. Like it, it's so weird, but okay. Yeah. Don't question it. Don't question it. They've already already come through with multiple different weird odd things. So but the team is set. We're headed off on our next adventure and we'll get to see uh we'll get to see the Dwarven Kingdom in the Dwarven's world this time around. So I'm hoping that this is going to give them um well at least our main character a bunch of new inspiration for uh for equipment and things to draw not to mention him bringing his engineering knowledge over to the dwarves who are usually by mythological standards and a lot of things always looking for you know tinkering ideas and always engineering and building stuff so i'm sure he's gonna fit right in with them right away out of out of, out of all of them um i don't know if uh hopefully they'll he'll probably get his own moonstone or his own stone from them as well helping out so that we don't have to worry about, you know, him running out of power randomly anymore going forward. But we'll see. Uh, yeah. So, oh uh, yeah. Uh, nice, quick, fun chapters for those four. They were really fast. There wasn't some anything too dense in all of that. So you can move on from that really, really fast. Uh, anything else from you on those that I missed? No, uh, we, we touched exactly what we needed to touch. <laughs> okay, okay. Since we all touched on that. We can uh, head over here to our next one and touch on the one chapter we got from this in three weeks. And that's over to the legendary Moon Sculptor. Uh, uh, nothing yeah. Nothing really happened. Did anything like, happen? <laughs> he made it to uh, the... <laughs> they're looking... For the, the, that weird that group is looking for a sculptor and then they meet him well they don't meet him like, they're looking for him they find yeah, him. For him yeah they find him and that's basically the entire chapter, chapter right yeah there's like yeah i'm trying to i don't think anything else really happened in that chapter surprisingly um and granted i really figured that this is supposed to be set up for all the things that should be happening but it's coming out at such a slow pace right now that it's not like there's nothing compelling to keep it's pulling through. It's not even just through. a slow pace. It's also like dragging on this. Like, I was like, how hard? Okay, you guys are all exist in a fucking MMO. How hard is it to just message someone and be like, hey, bitch, we're looking for a sculptor <laughs> for this. <laughs> right or right, wrong? Like, I mean, it should be. But of course, since it's an MMO, you have to have that person's actual name. Um, I'm guessing he's probably got blocking on everybody that isn't a friend, so no one can just randomly message him. Um, and not to mention, there's probably a ton of other people that are either now getting into the sculpting uh, job class, trying to like emulate him in some manner. So now you have that all those people going around, because that always usually happens. <laughs> but there are better ways that, yeah, I think that the story could use the fact that it's a video game to kind of move bits and pieces of it along a little quicker, by it's, far. It's, it's weird because it is in a video game, but it's not utilizing video game Knowledge. things. It's, yeah, it's like, no, it's still in some sort of fantasy world. I'm like, no, it's in a video game. We should use video game like knowledge and like... I, I mean them going through that whole explanation in the beginning of the series with you know that this is this weird new immersive technology that's supposed to you know fully utilize the body and all of that so i guess you know some of those things may fall off in aspects so you can't just fast travel wherever you want to go like you would normally in a video game you do have to walk there or travel on a vehicle or an or an animal because you know that whole experience i'm sure there of course are teleportation fields and things like that but you know it, it feels like his team should be able his old friend should be able to find him or even like the one thing that we never get from uh yeah. this world an aspect of a video game like he pops online and yet no one in his party seems to know that he's online i'm like that's like standard 101 game thing is he just happened. like away for everything maybe like <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know. Like, if, he, if he is, then I just want to see at least one scene where he's like, oh, I forgot I left myself on a way. Or yeah. something like, right? Like, <laughs> oh, that's why you could have messed with you. Let me, oh, let me ex just change that. Online. <laughs> Online question mark. There we go. <laughs> so I don't have to have worry about that. Uh, either way, uh, another chapter to get us to pull through, hopefully until we get the next one which i have no idea what their schedule is anymore it has been like Quit throwing me a bone weirdest... and actually escape. stop it yeah this is the weirdest drip feed um we may uh... either either you tell us that you're on hiatus and we're like we can wait yeah or you put out something actual yeah i mean i mean something to at least get us to the next bit because we are still in the same arc we're all this is our setup so he can complete that one quest <laughs> and we're still rolling through it so yeah either way uh it was funny at least watching him basically get carted off by what looked like uh the the city guards uh as they were looking for him I, i'm hoping that this isn't like turning into a secondary side quest though that pulls away from the main one because they need a sculptor to make these specific uh spider like statues i believe that's what it was correct the scorpion or scorpion i, I thought they were they were it was some, some kind of insect. insect it's some sort bug. of insect we'll just go with the bug so yeah i'm hoping that that doesn't just like oh i need to go do this now before i finish this other bit but Either way. Oh, wait, aren't scorpions and spiders arachnids? They're not bugs, they're insects. Uh, yes, they are arachnids. Or there you go. someone out there will correct us on on all of that. Either way. Um, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, I think we got everything we were going to say about this one. Not a lot to bite on or talk about because it is just such a small bit of chapter that uh, I read through pretty quickly. So um, let's keep moving on here over to our next one uh this one i think we'll definitely have more of a topic to talk with uh it's into the peerless dad so we got the we got the fight we got him taking on the goons uh that were supposedly the assassins to take him out and it turns out that hey it's one of my old buddies <laughs> Yep, it's one of my old buddies, guys. Don't worry about it. I know this guy. And you're like, wait, what? I I I don't I don't dislike this, but I feel like they should have they should just have that scene where they see each other right at the beginning, and they have like the Spider-Man point thing at each other, like, hey, oh. you, you, right? Like, 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 why did they have to fight at all? Like to confirm who they were or something? Yes. Like you would think they would recognize each other immediately. No. Like, wait, well, we don't know how long it's been since he's seen him. So <laughs> people do change between, you know, 10 and 20 years of life. <laughs> so there's a chance that the one thing that they would notice about each other is their fighting styles. That's something that's been kind of burned into them over the years. And once he fought him, he picked it up. So I'm I'm fine with I that. I would have been fine if they like they were wearing masks or something. Be like, hey, I recognize this. But no, it wasn't that at all. It was like... Eat well, quickly, one, easily, be like, look at it, like, does this, does this does bitch he, look like, like who I think it is? <laughs> like, I, I feel like that's the easiest way to, like, notice, right? Or I feel wrong. like that like, would just appease you more, more so than just, like, it being actually necessary. Like, it just, it's just a little added bit on there that would have, like, helped ground that just a bit more. Like, oh, I know why they can't, they aren't recognizing each other because they can't see their their visual, I they just, can't use the visual I just, sensors. I just needed a little bit more because I feel, because <laughs> because either it's, it's, it's either that they recognize each other immediately from or like, not, or like, or like, or slightly when, before they fight or like they don't, okay? And it, because like, it just makes no sense that they don't recognize each other at all when he's like, why did you leave us, brother? Like, <laughs> like that, like, like, like you were like, I feel like I would know who this person is for the rest of my life, right? Be like, this asshole left us <laughs> and then I became a mercenary and then now I'm fighting his ass, see, like. Oh, that would mean you'd actually give time of day to remember those people. Mwah. Either oh, way. Oh, remember you. No, you don't. I'd remember you. You go to hell with that. <laughs> see, see. Uh, you only remember me because Peter isn't here. Shut up. <laughs> uh, anywho, so we know that they are both comrades, 
and that's when he basically gives him the lowdown of what was going on and of course just confirms his already you know previously thought answer that they were being sent there as a is more or less a trap to be taken out and this is where we get that uh the not so common thinking dad <laughs> we go no right no he's like no he's just like hey guys guys this is what i do buzz all right, he didn't hey. say this is what I do best. I mean, oh, no, no. This, is, this is exactly what he does best. He's like, guys, don't worry. I know thuggery, all right? I know how to deal with. Once again, kind once of... again, this is very different from thuggery. <laughs> he, is, fine, he, fine, he is getting fine. into organized level crime now. Organized, organized thuggery, okay? <laughs> yes, some, some organized worry. thuggery. Hey, 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 Lieutenant, Lieutenant, just, just turn a blind eye. What? Yeah, just, just look the other way. I'll deal with this. Well, I you, mean, you can't yeah. kill them. You know that, right? No, no, I won't kill them. I'm just going to hurt them <laughs> right where it hurts. It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so yeah, clearly his plan is, is starting to slowly come into place as he gives a heads up to one of the masters about what's going on. And that, you know, well, he can't kill them because it will cause a massive disruption in not only the, uh, the inner Mirim world, but also... You know, he'll make enemies out of some of those masters as well, because, you know, if anything's going on underhanded or anything like that, they'd have to bring it through the chain of command and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, he's he's going to hit them where it hurts. And apparently it's going to mostly be their wallets than anything. Try and run them out, uh, you know, from being able to do this kind of uh, any kind of any of this kind of crime on, on any level. But <laughs> so don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to handle it on the civilian side. <laughs> uh, civilian justice. <laughs> that never leads to anything bad. <laughs> um, but so Brother Now's got his plan going on with this. Um, I, I'm guessing Ak is still in charge of that yeah, end. He's still in charge because the, 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 the two idiots who, you know, the, who believe they sent off the main you know the dad to go get killed they're like yeah just leave it to Ak, you know like he, he he's a he knows how to manage things and i was like reading this and i was like are you you guys are just being set up for like to be like killed later right you, we all know this right well, we all know this they don't know this well supposedly i believe they've gotten report because um they were going out to celebrate and i believe it's because they got report that uh the job's been done and he's supposedly dead because uh, yes. they wanted payment um, for the job as well as a bonus on top of it. And they were going out to celebrate, which right away I was like, oh, so this is going to end real bad. <laughs> um, There's a lot of pretty ladies and have some alcohol. And I was like, oh, this is how we're going to do it. <laughs> and then he walks in with, he walks in <laughs> with the tonfas and I'm like, oh, this is not going to turn out good. <laughs> uh, so Time to break some legs. Uh, either that, or we're gonna strip them and put them in the town square. <laughs> uh, there's there's so many ways he could handle this, <laughs> especially on the humiliation factor. Um, I'm kind of wondering or hoping that this doesn't turn Ben down to the kids because one of the people that he's of course standing against is uh, one of the masters or one of the heads of the house that his kids. Um, that his kids uh, fought in one of the tournaments. So I'm kind of hoping this doesn't like trickle down onto them in some way. <laughs> granted, it's I think fine. all, yeah. Is it fine though? Yeah. Yes. Uh, granted, I'm sure all the masters are gonna protect them with everything they can because they seem to be rather enthralled with all of uh, all of their skills. Protégés. And doing. Yes. Well, they want them to be their protégés. Not to mention uh, the one the the one uh, the one child the daughter has a rather extremely deadly master <laughs> protecting her, um, but yeah. So the plan is slowly coming into place. <laughs> I'm wondering if we're we're probably getting to that end part where he's gonna make his move and get rid of those two finally, and we'll get to that next bit of the either the low part of the chapters where we get some good parent uh, parent kid time again. But yeah. Things, uh, th things, things cleaned out at least for, you know, this bit of uh, of the trap that, that was trying to be sprung, and we got another of his friends appearing. So we've seen three now throughout the whole story. If I'm correct, I thought I've only seen two. Because we've got Ak, 
and then we got oh, the okay, riverboat, yeah, and then the, the ship guy, the that's ship that's guy, right. and now this dude. So, but, I mean, the, but the, the but the difference between the ship guy is the ship guy is a childhood friend, and well, these two are his mercenary buddies. Yeah, but I mean, still, I'd still say you know, old people from the past. Um, yeah, it's fine. But I mean, slowly, but slowly, he's meeting up with all of his old crew. And I'm guessing he's going he's going to use the other part of the crew that he had in order to continue to further his plan to destabilize the underworld, or at least that he's going to use them to take it over so that they can control it. Um, I'm get, I'm going to guess going forward the rest of the story he's going to run into more of his crew and then just slowly I mean, that's, bring them into the That's the reasonable part. I mean, we already assumed that as soon as Ak showed up, where the Ak was like. Hey, there are more of us, and we all miss you. <laughs> well, I mean, that's not true because the one guy said he didn't like Ak, <laughs> and he oh, wasn't yeah. and he wasn't yes, rolling yes, with yes, him. Ak yes. was someone he didn't really like. So no, they, no. But the thing is, they, they, they may all, all miss, miss him, but they all, they all the split dad. up. Okay, yeah, they all, they all miss the dad, dad but right. they all kind of split up and did their own thing. So <laughs> they just don't like each other, but they like, but they, they but they all miss dad. Okay. Yeah. It's like, no, well, it's he's, like family. That's all it is. Well, he's the thing that holds them all together. You know, he's. Yes. They all acknowledge him as the leader, and he holds it all in place, even though all of their personalities separately kind of don't mesh well. Um, but yeah, so... It, and yeah, we did make that comment that going forward, it was probably going to be him running into more of the group, but I figured he was just going to run into them randomly on a mission, and they weren't going to, like, you know, come back or do anything to be more of the larger part of things. But it seems that it is slowly getting to him, like rebuilding the crew to more or less suit what he needs to go forward um because you know he can't use his son of a bitch i'm in is that what we're doing <laughs> what's up just what are we doing a you son, son of, of a bitch, bitch. <laughs> oh it, i don't know uh it, but does that mean he's gonna double cross them all in the end <laughs> No, this is dad. He doesn't look I feel like I feel like what it is is there would be the one guy who like never liked dad in the group, and he joins only to double cross him. Maybe. I mean, his childhood friend wants to kill him, so it's kind of yeah, hard to but see who. Love. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I I really okay. think we need to have a talk about that one. But either way. Uh, fun. It was. It was still good. It was fun chapters. I'm enjoying. I keep enjoying this, end over end. Every time this comes up with uh, a new one, it's always fun to see where the story's gonna go, what he's gonna do, and just completely out of like who he's gonna meet up with. Uh, I'm hoping that I, I really want to get. I really want to get back to the masters again. I want to see him. I actually just want to see him fight one of them too. But I want to see them kind of start to push into the story a little bit more. Um, especially with some of the outside political things that are going on. Uh, they've been very good at least keeping that on the outskirts, not too much within the story itself, because this kind of thing probably is going to put him on center stage uh, with him working his way slowly into the Heavily Dragon Association and all these other things going on. Um, but either way, uh, good, good, good solid two chapters for this. I enjoyed that very much. So... But we can uh, we'll we'll keep moving along from there on that one since I don't want to bog us down too much on there. Uh, let's move over into Inso's Law and get to some more a little bit more into the feelings thing here. Uh, this uh, one was only had one chapter. It was one chapter. One it chapter. was an interesting chapter where okay okay from the perspective of someone reading this, we know she's the main character. It is very. Weird though, she hasn't figured out that she's the fucking main character where like all the guys are like, hey, hey, are you all right? Let me take care of you. Head pats. <laughs> and I'm like, this should be the sign where you <laughs> should be able to figure out that you're the main character. Like, this or should, am I wrong? This, right? this, this like, should be the question mark that sets off the, I'm getting a lot of... I'm hitting, I'm hitting a lot, a lot of, of flags. attention apparently for being the side character, all right? Yeah, like, no, I, all these I don't flags. remember. Yes, yes. She, 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 she's, she, she totally sees everything else, but she doesn't see this one. And I'm I just mean, like, I mean, but this are makes we, what? I mean, this makes sense though. From like, uh, if you if you think of the the perspective of like just um, you know the video game thing, when we're when if you're playing the video game, if you are the one you know, actually participating and going along with the story, you wouldn't see all of this from the side 
because you know anytime that the main character is somewhere else and they don't have any of those side characters with them what are they doing they're not just on standby sitting somewhere so we're seeing all of that you know them as the group or you know those times when they're not interacting with the mc um you not played skyrim characters don't interact don't really do anything without you okay that's how that works <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I played Skyrim 1, but you play 2 and 3, and they do interact and do other things without me there. You know? That, yeah. Yeah. But, the, but well, once, again, this is, once again, this isn't the programming of the game. This is, you know, now in the real world for that. So we would still have to add some of this those This isn't even the things. real world. Uh, well, okay. What do you want? The virtual world? <laughs> uh either way you know it, it, it's it i still see the reason for why the illusion might not be entirely shattered because she is getting so much attention but at the same time i just um, want her to question it she doesn't have to be like oh hey this is what's going on i just want her to be like i mean she does in the chapter she she does in the chapter when she gets the head pat and she's she does bring it up a little bit like why is he doing this he doesn't normally you know give me this much attention he's usually either sleeping or making some odd comment you know this is more this is more one-on-one -on -one time than i'm used to having with this person so it, it's not like she's completely oblivious it's just not to that level of she's not getting to that next question where it should be it's strange that you are giving me this kind of attention. You know, the, the, this just doesn't seem to fit in a lot of these, the settings that I would think would be for, you know, a secondary character. But either way, um, the group has set a plan for what they're going to do with, so I don't know if she's going to be involved in that in any way. So that could... You think they're going to let her get involved? No, they'll be like, well, she's going to... No, you stay home. We're going well, to they're gonna tell her out. that, Don't but worry. she's gonna she's gonna force her way into the situation somehow, regardless. But <laughs> either way, this will th th this would probably be. I mean, that would be a really good way of showing off like she's not the MC because of that kind of thing. Um, especially for the fact that you know she almost just had that accident, which normally is something that you would think would happen to the main character and not a third party character potentially. Uh, but either way. Um, it was it was still nice to see her get this one-on-one -on -one time and we finished out that whole bit of you know her feeling down from the last two chapters about her parents comparing her to yura yang and now one of her friends tells her that um she doesn't need to see that in herself that uh she doesn't she shouldn't worry about what other people are comparing but everyone has their own weaknesses and that's kind of what it means to be a human and an adult you just learn to overcome or accept those weaknesses so on and so forth uh but yeah it, it was just it was still a nice messages. chapter <laughs> what's up positive messages yes positive life lesson messages it was it was still a nice sweet chapter regardless um especially after the incident from the previous one this is it's good to get this lull here uh and we know going forward we're probably going to get a big fight sequence in the next few chapters uh between them and the gangsters so I, I don't think it was I don't think it was anything uh, super super bad here nothing super super like overly boast just to go on about but still it was overall a nice chapter uh anything else from you on that one no there's nothing else all right all right it was one chapter yes it was we uh, this is uh one of the times we only got one and done for uh the story going forward but that means that probably in the next two we'll get uh two or three popping out here so Hopefully, nice and quick succession, because I do want to see what the plan supposedly is going to be. But moving over here to... Our, see the murder people. Uh, I don't think they're going to murder people. It's an Atomi game. They're just going to hurt them really bad. Come on. Uh, but moving on here from one plan to another that's going downhill. Let's move into Sweet Home. So, we got the last one with We Are Your Souls. And we already all guessed right away that... Our MC was not going to choose to go through the door. Um, the rest of the group is trying to get to the roof, <laughs> but the monsters have now stumbled upon the body that they killed of one of the other true humans, and now they're all extra pissed again. Um, we, uh, Why did the monster show up? Uh, there was this thing, and we killed it. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, it was the size of a human. This seems like a problem. Why did 
Why why are you all well, well, idiots? Why did you do this? <laughs> well, first it was an you egg. Just leave things better alone. It was an egg and we didn't know what it was, so we killed it. And then they showed up. And then this weird naked person showed up, so we killed her too. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah. So, uh our home our, our thinking our thinking otaku is at least like kind of putting pieces together here since he's only getting all of this information secondhand and not having witnessed any of it yet that you know we we fucked up we fucked up real bad <laughs> but hey everything's a learning lesson um our other monsterized person is on the roof getting pretty much manhandled by our one flying creature um he looks like he's not in a in any state to actually take that uh take him on and our mc is down in the basement still because he decided to go back and try and get uh i just say do sick do sick yep and don't worry guys he's not dead uh, like i said <laughs> well he is dead <laughs> not like you would want though <laughs> you, I mean, you don't know that you you're assuming a lot of things am i though wait wait we got what you're saying come on really yeah. and I, I, you can open your mouth as wide as you want but i don't know about that he looks pretty... i don't know if i can yeah, that's pretty wide. Do it. It's too wide. <laughs> uh, it's it's it seems like he's pretty gone, and he's ready. He's all in full monsterization now, because uh, the, the chapter ends with RMC just turning around, and Dusik is his leg is grown. He's not burning anymore, and he's fully got the monsterized eyes. So I don't think he's bad. I, not in the good way. Yeah, man. Yeah. No. But like I said, I, he wasn't dead. Uh, well, the Dusik inside him is probably gone. <laughs> the monster, though, He's did not, not die. God. They're dreaming. Uh huh. Shh. They're they're sleeping. <laughs> they're sleeping. And they all woke up because you just poked them. <laughs> uh, either way, the yeah, the plan is, the plan is completely screwed. Um, Dusik is back, <laughs> and uh, I I don't know how our MT is even going to handle getting out of that parking lot anymore because the monsters are all right above him on the mid level uh there's still monsters outside <laughs> dusik is now in front of him i i i mean at least um what's his name is still in the bus i'm haven't seen what their plan is going to be yet i'm also kind of wondering what happened to like the super muscled monster oh he, you don't he got taken out by the truck you remember when they when the convicts first showed up they hit them with the bus they ran him over and then they burned him. So he's gone. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Man, that's, that was a while back. Okay, that's right. That's yeah, right. that was a while back. He's gone. But I think Flying Monster is much more of a threat right now than Big Muscles. Man. I mean, he's taking on one of the monsterized guys right now pretty easily. And... Uh, let's, let's see what happens. Because it's, it's not like... like It looks like, like the, 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 the next humans, the true humans... They kind of leave the main character alone. They just kind of like talk to him like, hey, hey, bitch. Well, they, they talk to him because they, they can sense, it looks like they can sense the other monster in him. And he's like at the point that he's grappling with him. So they're trying to convince him to, you know, take that final leap and just become the true human. But at the same time, um, the other monsters who seem to be their like protectors in some level, or they're like, they see them as the children or the next wave. They're basically become in completely enraged when one of them gets killed and granted they don't well the group above knows this now but our homeboy at the bottom doesn't and i'm sure he's gonna try in he's gonna try and kill that guy and they're not invincible like the monsters are it seems that you can just stab them and they'll go down so we'll yeah see what happens we'll, we'll definitely have to see what happens this is this is definitely a, a walking dead kind of situation where you don't know what's gonna happen from one chapter to the next but it's very intense right now so uh everything's in a pretty bad state uh homeboy the anime for it soon. what's up there was the anime for it announced was it actually what I, I saw the the article for it i didn't read through all of it did i thought that was just a petition to get it to netflix did it actually get announced for netflix oh did it get in uh, i'll double check i'd have to double check i saw it as a petition i thought it said people were signing a petition to get it made but i didn't see anything stating like they had accepted or it had been approved so but yeah, that'll be real fucking cool if that's true uh yeah we'll definitely have to bring that up in irrelevant ramblings if that comes to uh 
if that comes to actual fruition but yeah i hope that this gets turned into uh an anime because it's <laughs> it is intense and is it is really really fun and is messed up as hell all the way around um but yeah hopefully a new chapter for that drops soon so we can see uh the conclusion to this whole whole mess that they're in um i kind of want to see if this may be them even splitting the party because i kind of have this feeling that he's gonna kill Dusek, he's gonna kill the one monster run out He's gonna find the cop and the one convict in the uh, in the bus. They're gonna basically book it through the woods. Uh, granted, I know there's something out there because it snatched what's his name, melting dude, the one convict, and took him in there. Uh, I don't think he's gonna be gone. I think he's gonna show back up as something worse. And the other group is on the roof, so I think they're gonna somehow split the party. And this is gonna turn into like a half and half adventure going forward. Any thoughts from you? No, 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 uh, no future sight on that possibly from you there no uh, 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 i don't think there i don't think the story follows enough tropes for me to be able to, to guess what's gonna happen next mm. uh, it's, it's it's for so far this the story beats are very original so it's it, you know it's, it's perfectly fine yeah that's good that's i good. mean the, the only thing that's like the trope in it is like oh the main character is like oh no i have the monster inside struggle kind of thing like that's that's it mm. we all know he's going to like continuously reject it because he's the main character he if he became a monster we'd be like well we're done here right like, <laughs> well no then she becomes the main character yes, yeah. yes. it's totally like that i mean you know, walking dead proved it there is no real main character everyone can get killed <laughs> uh but either way so moving along here to our next one from one home to a new let's head over to dark lady muk yang uh so quick disclaimer on that i was one chapter behind i didn't know but that's because scanlations are not across the board so uh what the uh crew was trying to say last week with uh where i stopped off where uh dark was pretty much in the middle of cultivation had beaten the uh the water uh the gem finally but 100 percent lost his mind in the process um you arc we're talking about like that's him at its full percentage you know 100 percent all of his abilities unlocked and i said i think that's just straight it's just him in madness form he's just using what he has off the top um that he could but yeah the dragon shows up and ko's him right away <laughs> just go to sleep and go to sleep. <laughs> just go sleep. to sleep and like with no with no at all uh no at all conflict no fight just go to sleep and uh, the story picks up now with him basically uh showing up in front of the king all of his army and saying i'm gonna take her <laughs> i'm gonna protect her mine now she's why? mine <laughs> and... she's mine why because i'm stronger than you, you. <laughs> no okay step out of the fucking way let me, let me, let me just swing my dick around <laughs> ah, like that. oh come on he could swing a tail at least <laughs> uh I do like that they make that comment about like, but what do you mean that red dragon? He's like, that's a golden dragon. But what do you mean? He's got red. It's like, no, no, no. Yeah, don't look, say he's that. Gold. He's a gold he's dragon. Just, he just, just ignore his hair. hair. Color. He he's just gold. likes red hair. <laughs> I do like that. They bring that up right away. <laughs> like everyone couldn't figure that out. <laughs> but yeah, so. Our, and then uh, the, 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 the head magician is like, wait, wait, we had a dragon. You didn't say anything uh yeah i i don't he, tell he you just, everything uh, i don't yeah. need to report on everything do i i'm your master Dude, not the other, the other way, way around, around. <laughs> i did like I, I did like that and granted he also he's like i i knew we had a dragon i found out when i was like six <laughs> I was, he, yeah i was no the yeah i i saw the dragon before when i was six but like it didn't come up again it never until, came like, up until, again until I now it's yeah, like yeah, how yeah. would i know that this was going to be important and relevant information you know 20 years down the line <laughs> out of all things to you know remember but yeah so uh we also got to see our I don't know if I would say that they're the master of the assassins, but we got to see the uh, the one Gosu guy, rival country. and then the rival country um, that was uh, there as an invited guest, and they were being told to, you know, because of what hey, was going hey, on, hey. stay. You need to stay. You need Why? to stay. You can't make a stay. 
No, no, you need to stay because it's, it's it's dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> but yeah, it's dangerous. We're in not order stopping to leave. you because like you're gonna go hurt someone. No, no, <laughs> we're stopping you because you're gonna die. <laughs> well, it's not even that you're gonna die, but also like we know that you kind of did something you weren't supposed to, and this is our way of locking you down so that we can keep this you is, here. This is, the, this is the nice way of just saying, hey, just just stay here, just, okay? Just like, stay, just stay for a little bit, yeah. <laughs> we know our countries are rivals to each other and we know we have espionage, <laughs> but like, can we, this is like the nice way of calling out spies. To yes, be like, just, like just, just, just sit down, just, just sit down, we got it. Just shh, 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 it's all okay. Shh, shh, shh. Just stay there, here, we'll, we'll have let you go tea. after this incident is done. <laughs> Don't worry, just, just sit. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely the way of stay down and they brought like, the entire army of mechs just to keep them in line too because of the just in case uh yes. yeah the, the the big show up so dark has now been taken to the lair with the dragon completely unconscious um the group is still on a mission right i believe or they were yeah, returning from run because they were in town either right? one either one yeah. either one yeah yeah so they're they i'm sure once they get back they'll be informed like what happened to their baron um and uh dark is going to i'm gonna guess either get some new training or be basically be observed since uh you know he he went full-on full-on crazy once he tried to cultivate there um yeah so i have a I'm guessing going forward we're gonna get uh we're we're gonna get a next level with him going into the more fantasy levels of the uh, the world here and away from the civilization since he's now basically friend hostage of a dragon to say the least uh, yeah so either way it was still it was still a fun episode <laughs> it was still a fun chapter watching uh, him in super powered form <laughs> uh, I, like everything now do you mean huh. What's up? Taking everyone down, and then the well, I mean, just, up like, nah, I mean, just nah. not even, not even just taking everyone down, but like before when Dark was usually like, I'm more powerful, or I, my air, my the airhead of I'm so powerful, nothing can really hurt me, and he just tanks every you know magic blast that he could find. The one, the big one that he shot at him this time, the Black Flame, which nearly killed him the first time he hit it, he completely absorbs it this time. <laughs> it's just He's nothing like, to him. Hey, look, look. I'm the master of this, <laughs> not you. <laughs> what? No way. No one could do that. No, no, no. I can. <laughs> uh, well, just to show that, yeah, when you use demonic master, when you use demonic powers against the demonic master, it's probably not going to go the way you hope. Uh, it's a very negated fight <laughs> all the way around. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely going to raise his profile again. I'm sure that uh, this is going to reach. Uh, the two spies and they're going to go back to their country about this and uh inform because they were trying to capture him first and then eliminate him oh uh, we thought she we thought she was a spiritualist no she's like a something. master of masters <laughs> she's, she's something much Lord. worse she's something yeah. much worse than we thought before so yeah this is this is going to raise some eyebrows and definitely bring some much more unwanted attention to him uh i don't know I mean, I, I know that we've kind of, we haven't completely background his quest to try and return to his old body, uh, but I'm sure that the with him now with the dragon, he's going to bring it up again, because if there's anybody yeah, that knows- Yeah, he's going to bring it up and he's going to be told, no, yeah. that's not happening right now. <laughs> we have other plans. You need to stay put. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so fun chapter, at least for the two that we got and the one that I caught up on. Uh, really, really, really nice art. Um, really, really good fun fight sequence there. And watching just him. If that is 100%, that's really cool. I kind of hope that that's not. I hope that that's just madness 100%, maybe. Just him using uh, all of his powers that he at least knows of, but there's more to come. Especially since no, he like, still has the like, Aqua Ring. It's like G Gundam, okay? That's all it is. It's uh, super mode. It's rage mode. That's it, all it is. And they'll be like, no, but there is the true power. <laughs> the power of nothingness. Yes. Uh, yes. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, well, at least it's good to know that he, even with him in full rage mode, he's not 100% like 
all powerful. There are other things out there that can easily KO him very quickly if need be. So well, we at least now have somewhat of a power level or a power set to the world. Yeah, it's not like it's not like they it's not like Nyad was like, oh hey, I, I can't deal with him. She's just like, you know what, I, I got a little bit hurt, but like I this was a bit just surprising on our end. And yeah. then the gold dragon was like, nah, just just sleep. Like there are still things above him, so it's perfectly fine. Yeah, that's good. I just wanted that. I wanted because uh, that's usually the one thing that we always run into when we have a lot of the power stories like this is that we there's no set power structure in place to really tell us who is powerful and who is not or what the character is trying to attain to. So we're we're just always assuming that he is or she or she is at the echelon over everyone else until you know given otherwise. But now that we actually have been shown this, it it, it helps solid helps solidify the base for you know where we can go forward from here. Um, but yeah, so either way, good story. I liked it. Glad for the art. Can't wait for the next one. But we'll keep moving along here for our last one to talk about. One of your favorites and mine. Trash Yay, hero. Triple H half hero. <laughs> uh, so. We got uh or he runs the underground demons now. They they deal with everything. Well well he runs it, the worshiping problem, ring. His, problem, his problem was that, you know, the second time around no one liked him, but they will like him now because he's telling people to like him, basically. <laughs> it's like the worst hey. plot or worst plan I've ever heard. <laughs> Hey, hey, in the hey, worst way that's not even efficient can't, they can't not like me if I'm, i tell them to like me <laughs> they can't not like me if i'm forcing them to like me yes 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 that's exactly <laughs> how that goes it's fine oh that's such a bad plan it's so bad um yeah so him running the underground demon ring him also well, hey guys 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 don't worry we i know that there's gonna be a drought and people are going to run out of food so what I'm going to call the land. Let's send all. Let's go have a war with the mermaids. Yay! Yay. <laughs> it's such a stupid plan. It's so bad. No, no, no. None of these plans are meant to be like amazingly good in plans. Okay. But these I... are plans. These are plans out of pettiness. All right. <laughs> these are these are plans to just hurt people. Not <laughs> not because he's like. Hey guys, I know how to deal with this. He could he could have easily at level one have gone and taken care of the demon lord, and then problem solved. All right. He could have. He would have been able, he would have been able to beat his own record in record time, literally, but he didn't. So now he's just he's just full on in petty mode. He just doesn't yeah, care. Yeah, he's at this level. petty mode he's now. Just, he's I'm just like, I'm just angry oh, now at everybody sorry, else. Guys. We have we have hero B who I beat the shit out of. Oh also, god, that was such a that was such a mean fight. <laughs> That was such a hilarious fight. That's just like that's so, so bully. Like, let me just oh, let you are you you're you are you holding just, you're holding you're back. Holding back. Let me let me sh let me do this. Pow pow pow. <laughs> I can't I can't. Oh, you're still holding back. Yeah. <laughs> let me show you. And then you know there's no problems because you know the queen is obviously a demon worshiper. Yes. She's like. Yes, continue. She, continue for your own <laughs> for your own amusement. Yes. Your own training. This is all to figure out who of you is the strongest. So we yes. know. It's like, oh. It's, it's so terrible because he's basically become the sword king as well. Like the person he would yes. complain yes. and bitch about the most. He basically turned into him. He's just beating this kid because he, he's just angry at everything. <laughs> You uh, die a hero, or you live to become the villain. I mean, he didn't even—he didn't even die a hero. That's the problem. <laughs> he instantly became a villain on the path right away, too. He could have been sent home, and no one would have known that he killed the other his party members. Okay, no one but him would have known. It's fine. No one but him in the system. The system knew he killed them. It's fine. yeah, but the system—it's not like the system is going to tell that 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 country that hey hey. You're here. Well, the system doesn't. Everyone. The system doesn't tell them anything. They're just. Yeah, exactly. They're so just NPCs. Fine. But the system itself is the reason that it's doing all of this. He's supposed like, to appease like it. If I if I kill someone, it's not like the walls are literally going to talk to someone. Uh, no, no, they won't. But if the walls are, you know, made up of a, a living god, then yes, they probably will tell everyone. <laughs> um, but either way, yeah. So the plan going forward because of the drought, he's gonna start a war with the mermaids and essentially just to kill them and drain the lake and no, at no, the same no, time we find it's 
particular, he really wants to target the one princess. No, no, no. He wants to kill the he wants to kill the queen princess or the princess of the mermaids because, of course, as we find out, she was one of his old party members. <laughs> Yay! And once again, princess. once again, she wasn't a good person either, <laughs> as always. So I mean, none of them were. I mean, Lenova's been a good person all this time. She hasn't done anything Stop terrible. It. I don't think she stuck around with him that long, though, did she? What are you talking about? What do you no, mean? No, no, no. I mean, I mean, in the first, in the first time around, she she, she gets killed. She does she, she? Yeah, she gets crushed under oh, a uh, right, rock right, yes, rock pile. Okay. Yes, she's yes, yes. all in every one of his adventures. She's always there. He's, yes, you're right. He he just always is he angry. With her. Who, but he wasn't the one who killed her in the first one, though. No, she she, she died she, because of a trap yeah. more than anything. Yeah, she died because of a trap. But she, he wasn't the one who actually killed her. So th this is the difference where at the end he killed the other party companions, not yes. her though. She's yes. the only one that he didn't kill. But like like what you said, like all of them have been bad people. And that's why, and even to say that's why he's killing them, but they've all been bad people. They've all been annoying to him more than anything than bad. And, you know, he's taking out that revenge on each one of them so far. But we know that the, uh, the Sword King is just a psychotic masochist more than anything. He just loves to beat people. Um, the Elf Queen is a massive racist. That's simple and plain. And we know that she, she's she been captured uh, this time because he didn't go to do the uh, the auction house this time. But he informed them that this, that was going to happen. No, she, still di she still died, though. I thought they said he, she was captured. Like, Did she they say she was captured? I... I don't. I don't remember what it was. I don't, I don't know. I gotta check. I think. He, I think. I think he said something along the lines where he 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 still has it set up where the elf king will still be. Well, the elf king was still gonna get yeah. killed by his son anyway because the only reason that she won or that the son lost was because the he saved her the previous time and she ended up stopping the uh, the coup, but because she's not there, he should fall. And that'll fix that prop that that problem without him having to interfere. Um, yeah. So there's no issue there. We don't know anything about this new character with the mermaid. We don't know what makes her this crazy bitch that he you know wants to kill or at least you know get rid of. Because um, she so far hasn't played any role in his three in runs the other that previous... we've seen. Yeah. That we've seen. We know that On apparently she was in the runs. first one. Yeah. But we didn't see her there prior. So we'll get probably low down with whatever weird thing she's into or whatever odd, you know, personal f uh, character flaw that she has. Um, these are not character flaws. Okay, I'm just letting you know that. Okay, not character flaws. They're, they're bad character traits. <laughs> Better? Yes. That, okay. There. <laughs> um, but you know, he brought he brought the other MC along, who he's still beating the shit out of, at least mentally now. Um, he brought him along, along with, you know, an entire army to take on the mermaids. And right away, I love how he's making this comment about, like, his reputation isn't going to suffer because he's talking about, you know, like, doing all of these good things. And right away, we get one of the one of the guards is like, you know, is this a, is this a good thing? Should we be doing this? And he's like, I don't really like this guy, but I'm not going to go against him because, you know, he's he's the hero. So he's already seemingly starting to gain a negative reputation, even without really doing anything. But it, no, it's not a negative reputation. It's a suspicious reputation. Oh, they don't okay. trust him. I mean, either way, it's it's not going to be great if someone's suspicious of you. They don't trust you. So it's not going to be a good path, regardless of how that goes. Um, so next chapter, we're going to either he's just going to straight up attack the mermaids, because I think that was his plan. They were going to block off the dam. Or they're gonna they're gonna dam off the thing and then they were just gonna do something either he's gonna like go in there and use some magic so he can breathe in the water or i don't know maybe boil the whole ocean or the whole uh lake <laughs> i'm not sure what his his plan is yet other than no he's he's going to try to diplo diplomacy first come on come on diplomacy quote in quote uh-huh i i don't like this form of diplomacy that you speak of it, yes. it sounds very cold and warish like. <laughs> hmm. Yes. God damn it. <laughs> uh, either way, it was still nice for four chapters out of all of that. Um, getting through everything. But yeah, that that beat down and was just not, not fun to watch entirely. Um, 
and then uh Alex, I believe is the Sword King's name, right? If I'm correct? Yes, Alex. Yeah, yeah, Alex is now taken uh the hero B under his wing and he's kind of training him properly. Grooming him to somehow no, he's I think he's grooming him. he's no, grooming, he's grooming, him, grooming revenge. him out of pettiness. He okay. is, but he's grooming yes. him to, he's grooming him on revenge. He's gonna he's trying to make him strong so that he can take on uh he can take on the MC. So not knowing that the MC is actually like hidden level one thousand plus. Yes, yes. Pretty much. Yes. I mean, not to mention, I mean, even if he doesn't, he's got the miasma in his mouth that, you know, pretty much can kill anybody that he so wishes he so wishes to choose to use it on. Um, so do we I mean I know that we're gonna at least see him taking out her. So do we see that the other MC is either going to either recognize what's going on yet? Because he still seems pretty clueless to everything he still acts like you know a brand new character he's doing every quest he can come across he's trying to help um he correctly identified that that one guy was a demon worshiper but you know yeah, but he wasn't dealing with it like he wasn't dealing with it properly to, like you know yeah, like, he just he's just like you don't call someone out in the public and look at it and be like guys guys this guy publicly is a good person like what do you, even like that it's like it's like it's like if you went out and you told me that bernie sanders were and murdered someone i'd be like i'm not saying i completely doubt you i just need evidence can before you start making accusations this is this is outlandish yeah he's, he's is a choosing point. he's choosing to do this in such a poor manner that it's making him look bad um which is just you know overall so i don't know if uh you know this is slowly going to turn him evil-ish or you know he's gonna like recognize that the other character is being underhanded and helping along essentially the bad things in this world uh and he's gonna turn on him in some way because it seems like he's he's slowly getting into a revenge chapter i mean he's already beaten him up he's getting continuously beaten from alex slash trained and um surprisingly he hasn't run into any of the other characters yet i've kind of figured he might have stumbled into the elf thing uh or the yeah, the auction house and run into the queen and like befriended her in some manner or anything like that but he hasn't they haven't really shown him like doing any of the like plot quests that get him some of the new characters so and the mc doesn't seem to truly care if he does or not since he's doing no, he his doesn't, own thing he doesn't care around. he he knows how they all are he's like not nah, i i'm just gonna take care of all the problems with children don't worry yep <laughs> uh either way uh yeah so fun chapters still all around from them uh still getting uh, a lot of interesting from bits from the story lead i don't know if you've read any of the comments from some of these uh a lot of people are pulling up and talking about the novel on this and apparently it is definitely much darker in the novel what goes around at least what happens between uh like it's uh it's apparently much more graphic in the beating that he gives him in the novel Dude, it's fine. I, I like this. This is yeah. there. There are times where like I I think there are sources that need to be darker for dark for like reasons. Okay, grimy and dark for a reason. Like, yeah, you know, like if I read Goblin Slayer and then you read the light novel, yeah, Goblin Slayer's light novel and stuff is like way darker and stuff. Like, cool, that's great. Mm -hmm. But then you know when you read this, this is this is like so it's much more like a a dark comedy, right? Yeah. I don't think i need to see him like being absolutely vicious we that was already like established abundantly yeah establishedly <laughs> vicious all right we i don't need to see him graphically vicious <laughs> we don't need to go to the berserk level of gra uh, of gratuity here uh on exactly no, if, you know there, if this is more comedy than like yeah. dark reading okay it's fine yeah yeah this is a, a dark comedy more than anything yes so. it's a dark comedy that's all it is. <laughs> Uh, but either way, I just I just noticed that and I was like, oh, okay, because a few people were complaining like this isn't as graphic as or you know they do so much worse and I'm like, it's fine. It's, I do still you get need the it, I, like, I I I, could, I got the conveying sense of like how bad this is going and how terrible the situation is right now. So I don't really I don't need more pictures for it. But either way, um, but yeah. So taking a look at the time here, yeah, we've we've already gone over just about an hour here ourselves. How you feeling now? Oh, okay. I'm not dead. That's good. <laughs> and we'll hopefully keep it that way for a few more years. But either way, we can uh yeah, we can go ahead and close this one out for this time. I think we've uh we wanna get 
back to reading ourselves and do some father fun stuff as it is. Uh, since we don't have Seraph this time around, I'll go ahead and close us out here. But thank you all for joining us for this new episode of the Project Webtoons podcast. If you liked this episode and want to watch more, go ahead and hit us over on our uh, YouTube page or click the links down below. But go ahead and give us a like as well. And go ahead and hit us down in the comments if you uh, found anything interesting in this chapter, in these chapters came up or if we missed anything, go ahead and let us know. And also definitely hit us up and let us know if there's anything you think we should be reading or that we should check out um definitely hit up our link tree so you can see all of our links to everywhere that we're posted right now be it google podcast spotify we are on apple podcast we're everywhere blown up and definitely hit our facebook page so you can see some of the latest chapters of things that we're reading and new and interesting things out there but yep that's everything i got so unless ark's got anything else on us on our end Nope, looks like no, he's getting silent. No, nothing. <laughs> All right. So, well, I'll take us out here. I am, of course, your host, Sleepy. Mm. 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 I'm right. out. All right. Looks like I need to go put him to bed. Take it easy, everyone out there. <laughs> <laughs>